All right, here we go. Hey, Facebook, happy Wednesday evening. I, uh, I keep telling myself I'm gonna get this done before Brian gets home from work, get these in before Brian gets home from work, but uh, you know, I didn't, I'm not gonna say the day got ahead of me, but I, um, yeah, just coming on right now. So I see Brian's coming on, I'll wait just a minute. I got clean up my office today. I hung up a new picture. I'm excited about that. Oh, baby, did you notice? My thing's flipped. Did you notice that I, um, I put that in the frame? I forgot to show you. It looks good. Brian bought me that uh, like last Christmas and but it was just the canvas like it well like the print it didn't have a canvas and so I um anyways I put that up today so I love it I'm excited I've moved my desk anyways let's get this let's get this party started so um quick question have you ever quit something um I've got my notes here today before I get into it. I wrote on my board I'm all sidetracked today but um I was like, I need to write this down because I can't even see my board anymore. But have you ever quit something because your expectations weren't met? Um, I am a certified nutrition coach and have been doing health and wellness. I've recently transitioned to a, a whole new business. But for the past few years, you know, I've, I was very deep in um, nutrition and fitness still in my own personal life. I'm just not leading my business with that anymore. But I hear so many excuses as to um, why it didn't work. And so, hey, Ricky, um, good to see you. Let me know if y'all are, uh, I see y'all are watching live, but if you're watching the replay, let me know. But yeah, have you ever, um, honestly, I want you to be for real with me. Have you ever quit something and blamed it on everything else except what the obvious reason was? Because I think most of us don't ever have that ownership and accountability for our own lives and where we are in our own lives. And so in real, I had this big kind of aha moment today um, in relating this to um, dieting and, and not following through. So I've never had a weight issue. Um, I've always had strict boundaries um, in my life. So I've never had to lose a bunch of weight and go through that because I, um, yeah, I just have, I lead a healthy life. And so that takes constant effort. It takes a lot of, um, you know, work one way or the other to let yourself get really um, unhealthy and then have to work to get it off or to stay keep that constant right so anyways i'm in this marketing challenge and it's a 14-day marketing challenge to help me learn how to leverage uh, social media so i can reach more people to help them with what i do um and it's just a platform for me so i'm choosing to do this and um it's day nine and oh my god you guys I haven't made a million dollars and I haven't signed up a bazillion people and I think I should just quit because it's just not working, right? Um, I And as silly as that sounds, I think that when we really put it in perspective, like today's day nine, it's only been nine days. What did I think was gonna happen? Um, hey, Cynthia, jumping on. And so have you ever quit something and blamed it on XYZ, everything outside except yourself. Let's be real. If there's any ladies watching, most ladies I know are yo yo dieters. I can't even have small talk with women anymore because I'm like, do you really want to know my opinion on that? You're not willing to put in the work. You're not, nope, you don't have the grit that it takes to really meet your expectations. Your actions and your expectations don't meet. A lot of ours don't. Not, I'm not like saying you with dieting, but like, in general, so this has nothing to do with health and nutrition. It's just I relate a lot to that. And so I was talking to my friend Cynthia today actually about it. And I've been really working on not just within my business, but I've I've been developing myself, um, which might sound weird saying out loud, but like for the past few years, but you know, reading and learning and growing and becoming mentally stronger so I can help reach my goals. And so before I trail off, see, I need to look at my notes tonight before I trail off too much. I was relating it to if I was on this big health journey to need to lose a bunch of weight and it takes a lot of work. So nine days I'm showing up, right? I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to and not seeing these results yet. And it's like, if I was trying to lose all this weight and at nine days, I'm like, what, what the hell? I'm not in my bikini yet. This sucks. It doesn't work. Right. I mean, that might be, sound extreme, but it's not trusting the process. Um, you're not old. You're knitting. 
I don't know how to knit. So uh, my nails are naked. Don't look. Don't look at my naked nails tonight. But so anyways, I'm in this, I'm in this challenge. And, um, and so today, and not in relation to this, but I just kind of noticed that my stressors were higher and I needed to kind of like shake my sillies out and I went and got a workout in. I'm texting Brian, like I have my little outlets that I need. And, but it never just, you know, takes me off track. And I think that most people need to really dig deep as to why they aren't where they want to be in life. And it's not that it doesn't work or that doesn't work. It's you didn't work or not long enough. And people and there, I see so many jumping on, but I don't want to call them out unless he says, hey to me, but um, to say, hey, as you jump on, let me know if you're watching the live or the replay. But, you know, people just aren't willing to put in what it takes. They'd rather go through their life and um, spend too much time crying about why things didn't work, trying to convince people of why they aren't where they want to be. And instead of trying to create solutions in their life and be conquerors and be that better example for their kids, they're victims. And I talk about being a victim all the time. I, uh, just that victim mentality is that's, that's toxic. You need to watch that thinking. So, hey, Nicole jumping on and I'm just gonna, you know, right now, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I should have stuck to my notes because like I knew going into this, I'm like, this is a loaded topic for me because the victim mentality, just like, oh my God, I could write a book on that. And hopefully um, my friend Carrie doesn't jump on. She thinks I should write a book. I'm not there yet. Not there yet. But um, <laughs> let me see. Let me see if I can jump back onto the track with this. So yeah, day nine of my 14 day marketing challenge. I'm very okay that I don't have a million followers and I don't have 25 new reps or whatever. Like I, I didn't have expectations going into this. I have humbly gone into this knowing it was going to uncomfortably stretch me and I'm going to grow from it from it just like when people go into I'd say diet I don't I think diets are bad for you I think you should just learn how to um, fuel your body properly and uh, maintain a healthy lifestyle but that's constant effort and so it's not that it doesn't work or that that doesn't work um you didn't work and so I talked to a lot of people that I'm gonna try to wrap this up in like four more minutes because our dinner is about to be ready. But um, I talked to a lot of people that say, uh, like in, about direct sales, yeah, I tried so-and-so, that didn't work. I tried this for a little bit, that didn't work. So did that not work? Or did you not follow the proven systems that have made a lot of people a lot of money? Does that not work? Or did you try to do it your own way? Um, and then quit because you didn't get results. Does that not work? Or are you not willing to learn from somebody that has had success and you work towards what um, they've already done? Does that not work or did you not work? And so I'm really tired about, <laughs> I'm, I'm just so tired of people crying about everything and throwing excuses. Like it's really bad for your, like if you don't have any intention of taking yourself to the next level, stop talking about it, whether that's in your health, your finances, and in anything, if you're in a crappy marriage, stop complaining to all your friends about it if you're not gonna do anything about it. Nobody wants that, nobody wants to be around that victim. They wanna be surrounded by people that are conquering their issues and making an example out of what they faced. They didn't have excuses and then they um, conquered that. So I didn't even plan on talking about that tonight. I'm super sorry about that, but day nine out of 14, right? I'm, I should be just this expert marketer. I should just be golden right now. But um, you know what? Pat myself on the back because it takes a lot. It takes a lot of vulnerability to come on in front of whether it's one person that watches, 25, 200, 1,000 if I ever get to that. But um, I'm doing it. I'm taking the steps that it takes. I have realistic expectations. I'm putting the grid in and I'm never going to stop. I believe in what I'm doing because few years ago, I was praying for a solution. I was praying. I had no idea about this home-based business industry and nothing about direct sales, network marketing, nothing didn't care. I was a busy, busy, busy mom that was so stretched thin, so stretched thin that I couldn't even help my baby girl with her preschool homework. And I was like, oh my God, how, how, how am I going to, what am I going to do when they both get in school? And 
I can't even help Mia with her preschool homework because I'm so exhausted in the evenings because I was working full time. I was teaching and, and then Brian obviously works too. And then it was just like, I mean, there was a lot of uh, crap meals because we just didn't have the time. So I was praying for a solution. I, I literally cried every single morning when I parked my car before I went to my school every morning for the, God, for, I don't even know how many months that my, that my students would never, my, my prayer was that, please God, don't ever let my students see how miserable I am because I loved them. I hated that I couldn't find my balance and I just, I didn't know what I was praying for, but I was praying for it. And so this solution was presented to me and I didn't know much about it and nothing about it, but I knew that what I was doing wasn't going to work for life because there was no way my marriage was going to ever be a strong marriage because I was giving it no time. Everything was on the back burner. My life was on the back burner. I was in survival mode and I couldn't even help my baby girl with her preschool homework because I was just so exhausted. And so I was just praying for a solution and I found it. I was able to retire from teaching later that, that school year. So that was amazing. And so now I'm present. I'm, I get to be a present mommy and a better wife and a better me because I'm not so stretched thin. And I know that there's other moms out there that are praying for a solution too. whether I go off topic off my nose and don't know what, you know, whether this is planned, I'm not, I'm not a scripted person and whether this ever reaches this exact live reaches that person or not, I'm going to keep showing up. I'm going to keep showing up. I'm going to keep showing up and I'm going to keep showing up because I know that there's women out there praying for a solution for what I have to offer. And so if you're looking for a solution, if something that I said tonight that I babbled about tonight, um, you know, resonated with you and you want to know a little bit more about that. And you may not be looking to retire from your job, but you may be looking for dessert money, something where you're not freaking out like, oh my God, so my kids went marble slab. And it was $20 the other day. Hashtag over that expensive ice cream. Not that I didn't have the money for it, but $20 for three ice creams, like that's just stupid. But, um, you know, if, if you're, if, if you don't have an extra $25 in the bank to go and do whatever, like you need a solution. And so I, uh, day nine, I'm not, I'm not at the top rank yet. And I don't have the biggest organization and I don't have a big fat bank account. <laughs> Darn it. Right. Should I quit? Should I quit? Cause it doesn't work. Or do I just need to keep putting in the work? But, um, if what I said tonight, some of what I said tonight might've resonated with you, I would love to have us um, talk with you to see if what I do possibly has a fit for you. Um, Thanks for joining me on my journey. I'll see you tomorrow on day 10. I won't quit. So have a good night. Reach out to me if you would like to know a little bit more about that. And don't make fun of my naked nails. But um, I need to give them a rest. Have a good night. Happy Wednesday.